Good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Alpine Rhino Beer Review. <coughs> well, that was meatloaf. Oh. Okay, I'm better now. Good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Alpine Rhino Beer Review. And today we're drinking a beer from the Amsterdam Brewery that I have actually not had a chance to get my hands on until now. I've actually wanted to drink this beer for years. And every year it came out, it never would hit here. I don't even know if it was ever in the LCBO before, but it would never hit here. Uh, and I never made it to the brewery at the times that it was offered. So uh, this is Amsterdam's Winter Seasonal. This is their Wee Heavy Scotch Ale, and as you can see, there is a Scottish Terrier on there, which makes me in love, because I love my Scotty as much as I want to throttle her almost every day, because she's a fucking Terrier, and who likes Terriers? They are cute dogs and very loyal. Um, what do we have here? Strong beer, beer forte, 6.2% alcohol. It is our Wee Heavy. Wee Heavy is our version of a Scotch Ale. A blend of five different malts and an extra long boil gives this beer its uh, deep ruby red color. Wee Heavy is lightly hopped and is made with local golden honey, giving it a slightly sweeter taste. Heather tips are added at the end of the brew to balance out the richness, leaving comforting earthy notes. Wee Heavy is the perfect beer to fend off winter chills and keep you warm from the inside out. Fresh, local, original. Amsterdam.com, Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Bang, 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 glug, 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 bang, boom, bang. Okay, so it talked about a ruby red color. Uh, in the glass, it looks pretty much black or brown. When I oh wait, right there, yeah, okay, that's ruby red. When it was pouring it up, it looked more mahogany brown. But right there, with the light hitting it just that way, yes, ruby red. It is. It is a perfect ruby red. I don't know if the camera could ever pick that up or not, but it is a perfect ruby red. Head brown, big bubbles, nice snap, man. Oh, there's so much, so much visually appealing with this beer, especially in the Cameron's glass, ooh, it looks so good in the Cameron's glass, oh, it looks good, let's give it a smell, oh, okay, the Wee Heavy is coming off like most Wee Heavy, some molasses, some uh, butterscotch, uh, a bit of caramel, a uh, tiny hint of roastiness. And that's about it. I'm not getting the Heather Tips. Uh, I've only had Heather Tips in about 30 or 40 beers. Usually I can't smell it, uh, and I don't smell it in this one either. I'm also not picking up the honey really on it. I expected to, uh, once once I learned there was honey in it, I kind of expected to pick up a nice sweet scent to it. I'm not, well, I'm getting a super sweet scent anyway, but I don't know why I expected to. I mean, I should have thought through the fact that there's five malts in here that's already going to kind of be sweet. Anyway, let's drink the beer. Let's see what she's about, right? I've been so looking forward to this beer, and actually, earlier this week, I had the Big Rig Wee Heavy, which was an amazing Wee Heavy. So this has some big shoes to fill, because this, this has been a big, well-known Wee Heavy every winter season for years now. So if the Big Rig guys beat them out in the first two years, uh, I'm sad, especially because it's Big Rig, and I mean, Chris Phillips is Chris Phillips, but he is slow and old, so you'd think that I, I'd even say that to his face, but he would beat me up. But I'd still say it, because it, it is what it is. Uh, anyway, let's try this beer. Cheers, guys. He would beat me up, too. I'm not going to lie. He, he could take me out. He, he hockey scraps. He'd just pull my shirt over my head and punch me a few times. I'd be done. I'm blind. He'd beat up a blind guy. 
fucking asshole. Beat up a blind guy. Okay, first and foremost, good beer. Secondly, good beer. It is. It is a good, solid Scotch ale. A good, solid wee heavy. Um, for any of you that have had wee heavies from the UK, from Scotland itself and all that, yeah, it could compete with wee heavies from over there. It has a nice, roasty, almost peat-like smokiness on the background. Uh, it's not very strong, though. It's, it's just there subtly in the background. Nice caramel forefront, nice butterscotch forefront. Uh, very sweet, very well-rounded. A uh, little bit of a floral hint coming from the uh, the heather tips. I'm not really getting much from the honey unless it's what's just making the. Uh, excuse me. Yeah, unless the honey's just what's helping the the caramel and molasses pop. If if that's what it is, yeah, okay, it's there. If it's not. Not really tasting. Bother me? No, not really. It is a nice beer. It really is. However, if you gave me a choice of drinking this beer or drinking the beer from Big Rig, so the Big Rig we have, I would pick the Big Rig we we have any day of the week. Uh, this beer is very good, it's very solid, it is a good beer, but is it outstanding? I don't, I personally don't think so. Uh, a lot of people probably do, I personally don't, I don't find it to be outstanding. I do find it to be very good, I do find it to be a beer I would actually buy again because the price wasn't that bad, and for what you're getting it was actually a good price. And it's actually available near me, which makes it more reasonable for me to buy it. <coughs> Excuse me. I just don't find it to be a top-tier beer myself. I find it to be a very good beer. Uh, yeah, I, I was looking forward to drinking this for years now, and I was not disappointed. It is a solid beer. Out of 10 on this, I would give it a solid 7.75. I actually quite enjoy this. But I am a malt maniac, so I do love me some scotch ales. Anyway, I have to drink this. I have most of the fucking bottle in my glass because I did so small sips when I was reviewing it because I'm an idiot. So I guess it's time to chug her down. I guess so. Thank you guys for watching. Have yourselves a wonderful evening. Bye bye Remember, drink local as long as it's good. <sighs> bye, guys. I got tears in my eyes. That chug actually hurt a little bit.